Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see the list of iOS 18.1 features that are coming to non-Apple intelligence compatible iPhones iPhone 15, 15 Plus and earlier models are not getting Apple intelligence. Only the iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max and above models, the latest iPhone 16 models are getting the Apple intelligence. So in this episode, we will quickly see one by one the features that iOS 18.1 is going to bring to your iPhone and iPads. The very first thing is how to update from beta to stable, iOS 18.1 beta to stable release. I have skipped the last release candidate version update on my iPhone 12. So at the bottom you can see also available sections shows iOS 18.1 update available. So at the top you can see the beta updates are turned off. So if I want to update to the stable version I can install the update. If the build version is same as the release candidate version that came out last week then you will not be seeing the iOS 18.1 stable update as you are using already the same exact version on your iPhone or iPad if you were beta testing the iOS 18.1. I hope this clarification helped you to understand and the very first feature that the iOS 18.1 brings to all the compatible iPhone model is the call recording feature. At the top left corner when you receive an incoming call or when you make an outgoing call you can simply tap on that wave icon to start the call recording. And you will also see the pop-up notification that says take notes on this call which means that the call recording will be entirely saved by creating a separate note on the notes app once you've done recording you can press either stop in between the call recording uh, you know during the call or once the call is disconnected it will be saved as a one file as a separate note on your notes application at the top you can see a pop-up saying view saved call you can tap on it right now or you can access it later and when you access that specific note you can see that the call with a specific contact will be displayed and when you tap and hold it will show you the further menu options where you can access the share sheet to save the audio to the files application as a separate m4ea file or you can directly send it using the share sheet to whatsapp telegram or any other messenger application or email that particular audio file to anyone you want and you can rename this and keep the transcription or the call recording within that iphone only for english language you will see the transcription service on iphone 12 and above models on all the other models you will just see the recorded audio file especially from iphone 10r and above models except the iphone se models this call recording feature should be working for some users they are not seeing the call recording feature when you navigate inside the settings apps phone app settings you should be seeing the call recording feature here you can toggle it on if it is you know for some reasons turned off you can set it to on and you can start using the feature if your country or the network is not allowing the call recording feature for people in uae region united arab emirates region some users have reported in comments that the call recording feature is not enabled in their country so if your apple id or country and region is set to uae or surrounding country regions then you may not be seeing the call recording feature immediately we may see this feature enabled in upcoming software updates and the next important change is the new control center controls when you try to edit the control center that you have you know as the first screen you can you can now see the connectivity option also brings airdrop and uh, you know the wi-fi bluetooth icons separately so instead of using the square widget you know you can drag and drop separate widget and you can use it just like that i'm showing it to you on my iphone 15 pro max previously with the iphone 12 as i haven't installed the latest iOS 18.1 i'm not able to see those options but here in this iphone 15 pro max i'm running the beta of iOS 18.2 which is the exact same control center toggles that is present on the iOS 18 stable version so this is just an example to understand how you can manually place the controls the connectivity controls on your control center after iOS 18.1 update and the next one is uh, one one of the a related feature the apple intelligence related feature under settings focus you can see the reduce interruptions also available on my iphone 12 i'm not sure whether it is available in earlier models but it is available in iphone 12 and possibly some machine learning related features are already available in iphone models so i think this is something connected to that as it requires less processing apple may have enabled it on older iphone models as well so the reduce interruption automatically 
automatically you know blocks the incoming calls and messages and the application notifications based on your usage and you know the focus mode that is set and it is good to see one of the apple intelligence feature you know available on older models the next one is math functions on notes this is also available in earlier models and i think it starts from iphone 12 and above models so here in the notes application you can uh, write using your finger uh, any numbers or you know with any uh, basic arithmetic operations you can straight away perform on the notes application directly and it will try to you know provide the result in the same uh, handwriting style that you write it kind of you know matches a little bit close and uh, you know the important thing is this feature is very helpful on iPads more than the iPhone uh, because the screen space the real estate really good with the iPad so students and people who just want to use their Apple pencil to quickly do some calculations can do it if you write it in you know in a diagonal way then after writing two to three lines of mathematical equations you will see possibly see wrong results you know as it tries to calculate you know based on the straight line answer so you can of course use the slider by tapping on any single digit you know and then you can use the slider to perform the calculations the next important feature is airpods hearing aids and hearing assist feature exclusive to airpods pro second generation with usbc or with lightning port and uh, you know apple promises that you can now start taking the hearing test right at your home just with your airpods pro following the on-screen instructions and people have given so much positive reviews after trying this feature with their airpods pro and the website dedicated website that apple have also explains how the measurement happens and how uh, this airpods pro hearing aid test feature works perfectly something similar to the hearing aid accessory that you can purchase from any shops or from online website it's kind of a clinical grade hearing aid that is right now available and it does require the government or medical board approval of your country so this feature is right now not available in all countries right now it is limited to us and it is expected to come to more countries with the upcoming uh, software releases people who have a tough time hearing their surrounding you know people who speak around them you know after using this as a hearing aid uh, the airpods pro will be able to hear the music the people you know whoever talks to them everything very clear loud and clear and i think you know personally that this is definitely going to be a game-changing feature now we come to the conclusion of the ios 18.1 whether you should update or not my suggestion is if you are already using the ios 18 update or 18.0.1 it is a must update where apple have fixed keyboard related bugs that i have been you know constantly uh, submitting using the feedback assistant application i have also received a reply confirming the same that they have fixed it in the ios 18.1 beta 7 version itself before the release candidate version so so much bug fixes under the hood happened so i think it is a must to update if you are already running the ios uh, 18 version if you are running ios 17.7 or 17.7.1 also dropped yesterday uh, with few minor bug fixes and if you're thinking whether to update to ios 18.1 whether it is stable or not i would say that there are few minor bugs still present you know it is not entirely stable but it is much better than the earlier ios 18 rollout so you will experience better smooth performance apps usage system level performance and especially the battery performance it is much better with the ios 18.1 release candidate version that i have used for few days so my suggestion is you can update if you are ready to experience all the ios 18 features otherwise it is recommended to wait for ios 18.2 to receive more fine tuning more bug fixes and stability improvements and then you may consider updating to the ios 18.2 uh, on your iphone you know you can continue using the iOS 17.7 if you're not you know in a hurry to experience all the iOS 18 features some users ask me in the comments that their battery health reduced after iOS 18.1 update with any software update you may experience the battery health reduce if it is due for a reduce okay so if you know you need to calculate the battery health based on the month of your purchase and according to your usage and charging practice the battery health reduce will happen gradually over a period of months i leave a link to the sudden battery health reduce explanation video that i have already done in the description and in the first comment so if you like to 
know about it how to calculate the battery health correctly you can refer that video and based on my personal experience i would say that just iOS 18.1 is not the reason that you're seeing the reduce of one or two percent battery health on your iphone just the refresh happened after any software update that you normally do if there is any bug preventing the battery health to reduce uh, from reduce you know then the software update normally fixes such bugs so i hope this video gave you a complete insight about the features and some additional useful information about your iPhone and the iOS 18.1 update. Thanks so much for watching and if you need more iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.